welcome to the ride. Huh? It's a cool one today. How's everybody doing? We good? All right, great. Glad you did say good, hopefully. So, uh, today's mission is an interesting one. I got a couple of questions I gotta answer, and, uh, well, we'll do that, and uh, we'll see what we get ourselves into today. So, uh, it's a little brisk, but we're, we're rolling, so grab your helmet, get your water bottle, let's go. Get the intro. friends there's some supermodels over here my homeboy is over here using he's using my he's in my gorilla pod so if it looks a little shaky forgive me yeah we're still riding I just you know you can't get in the way of, of, of a photo shoot sexiness yes the camera loves you work it <laughs> so I stopped to help another photographer out a friend photographer and well it was, I think it was pretty good, pretty good stop. <laughs> so, and of course you don't want to put a bike in anybody's shot right there. So definitely, how'd it come out? Did it? Did it? Let me see, let me see. Oh, that's badass. That's nice. That's nice. That is nice. So you guys like it? You taught me something new too, right? Awesome. Come on, come on, who? Come on, say it. Give it to me. Y'all like it? <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh wait, let me let me get that zoom in on there. Yeah, that one especially. Yeah. That was awesome. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> you know it's always interesting meeting new people. I was helping them get the hang of using a gorilla pod. I figured it would be fun. And, you know, not only that, excuse me, big brother. Not only that, you know, show them a different angle of doing some photography with different stuff, especially when you're using an Apple product. <laughs> so, anywho, it's always fun making new friends. So, today's ride, of course, it's a little nippy, but nonetheless, I'm enjoying myself. And I had a couple of questions that came through on my email. One was asking me, when am I going to get rid of this particular bike that I'm riding and upgrade? So the first question actually came from a friend of mine whom I won't say, I won't embarrass him on the channel, but uh, I'm just gonna let you know, I like riding my bike, sir, and you gonna leave me alone about it. <laughs> so, my friend Brandon has been asking me, when am I gonna update and get a new bike? I've been riding the same bike for more than three years. Adding and taking away parts is not gonna make my bike any better. <laughs> so, my question for today was Brandon's, and I, I just, I couldn't resist doing the, the little thing where I'm like, you know, as long as it rides and it gets me where I wanna go from A to B, I guess I'm okay. <laughs> They have the biggest 
selection of beef jerky I've ever seen in my day. This isn't bad. I gotta say, look at all of it. Uh, this, uh, wait, wait, I think this, look at that one. Perky jerky. <laughs> oh, I thought I was kidding when I told you the beef jerky thing. The beef jerky selection here is very real. <laughs> I'm definitely liking this. Oh, look at that one. That's pepper. I'm most certainly liking the beef jerky selection here. I think I'm gonna grab me a pack to take with me today when we go ride. Well, you know, Jack's Links is something that I always get. But the, the, these like original joints that they got in here, I like these. I really do. Oh, look at that one. Pepper, original. Look at this one. That's the stuff we used to take with Boy Scouts when we was in Boy Scouts. Me and Brandon would take that brand. It's been a while since I've seen that. Look at these. This, this, is, I, this is the Sweetwood brand. These are actually like some of the best beef jerkies you can get. We took these out on scout trips too. I'm not so much a fan of Crave, but they're really good. But the, the Sweetwood joints are always really, really good. They're really tasty. And they're not expensive. Check that out. <laughs> I think I'm gonna grab me a little something to take with me. I know, like, you know we're in an industrial town, so it's not unusual to get caught by the train every hour on the hour. And being that I can't go the opposite way, I'd like to, but I'm on the outside of the train. So, uh, it looks like it's a long one too, so oh wait, there's people crossing down there, I see the end of it. So, uh, guess we gotta wait on the train. <laughs> so, you know, we normally take the scenic route when, uh, I don't have nothing else better to do with my time. And honestly, today, I was not intending on coming out. But as you can see, it's kind of desolate. It is really, really cold. So, I may just make my way back towards some place that was extra warm. Or a little warmer. How about that? I don't even see the Pokemon people out playing. <laughs> so, this might not have been the smartest idea on my part to actually come out today but eh, who can resist a good bike ride especially when you got the whole place to yourself or at least some of it <laughs> So, I know I said I wasn't gonna be doing too much or nothing today, but if memory serves me correctly, I believe they're gonna be opening up the cyber centers over here today. So I'm gonna scoot by and see what that looks like. So, looking right here, that's the first one. That's gonna be the newest cyber science center. Don't quote me, I think I went over it before. But the brand new second building, they've actually opened up over this way, here. Take a look. 
So here is the new Cyber Center building too. This one is the equivalent of that one. So here is going to be the actual civilian side of the contract center where they're going to have civilian companies come in and do a lot of whatever the cyber people do in their time doing cyber people stuff. So this is the actual big deal because not only is ASU or whatever they're calling it, I think it's AU now, whatever Augusta State is now, they're going to be a part of this. And this is going to be the biggest cyber campus on in, in like Augusta's history. I think the, this there were more than what? I'm going to say about a good $1.3 billion invested in both of these projects. So this is a huge deal. So a lot of growth going on in downtown Augusta. But I figured it would be a big deal to actually just show you guys what was happening. And well, I can't go in because that's totally private. But huge day. Uh, so, all right, come on. Let's get back to it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> come on, let's go. All right, it's starting to get a little dark, so I don't think I'm gonna be out here too long. Besides that, I could really eat. Like, I don't know why I'm in the mood for Chinese food all of a sudden. But yeah, back to what I was saying about my bike. Don't be trashing my bike, man. My bike is paid for, and it belonged to me. So, as long as this sucker pedals, I'm grateful to have one, Brandon. <laughs> All my friends like to clown me because I like to hang on to this bike. But it works though. I don't think there's a problem with hanging on to something you like. Me personally, I think this was the better route for me anyway. Because it just goes to prove that you know you don't need to have an expensive bike to enjoy the sport. Plus, my bike kind of allows me to go anywhere I want versus some road riding bike friends of mine. I won't say names. <laughs> but definitely. I, I don't know. I like, I like my bike. My bike's fun. It's my bike. I like it. <laughs> Tick, tick, tick.